Hello, advisory committee and friends of the class. Um, I actually tried to do this at school yesterday and there was a mishap. And so I'm doing this uh, first day of the break at home. And I hope you guys are doing well, having a good uh, holiday break, Christmas break. And um, just a quick synopsis of kind of the state of the union of where our class is, where we've recently been and where we plan to go in the near future. Um, I'll show you guys a few things. And if you wouldn't mind answering just a few questions at the end, um, that'll be back and forth and it will constitute an official meeting. So uh, here are a few little exciting things for us. Um, number one, Alexander Shinara, who has billboards everywhere. He had his second annual uh, billboard contest last year. Um, one girl uh, found out and entered and she got third place. And uh, so this year, of course, a lot of people were interested and he doubled his prize money. And uh, this year, a junior at Auburn High named Maddie Wilson. She got first place. She got um, $1,000 of just spending money. And then she also um, got a free Alexander Shinara hat. <laughs> so there's that. And uh, okay, when you see it, I'm a little self-conscious about this. Uh, I feel like she's capable of a lot more. I've seen her do a lot better, but you know, she had to kind of fit the the brand that, that he has. And so, um, that just know that, you know, when you see this, uh, I've seen her do what I think is better. But again, she she was smart about it and she um, kind of designed according to what his needs were and, and his desires were. And so um, worked out well for her. Uh, as far as fundraising, um, we ro broke our own record for sales this year. We sold, I think, 155 of these shirts. We partnered with the cheerleaders, actually, and uh, split the... Uh, profit and uh, we're going to move on I think in the future and uh, they've mentioned maybe doing it again where we design something and they help us to sell it and we split the, split the profits and so worked out well we had a couple other fundraisers also and um, so uh, we participated in the homecoming parade first time we've ever done that before and uh, it was a treat we enjoyed it quite a bit and there's kind of our banner uh, in progress and uh, we'll probably continue to do that moving forward. As far as projects, you know, it's a it's a high school, uh, large public school, and uh, we get just uh, the spectrum of humanity in class. Um, and uh, you know, of course, love every one of them. Some of them are more uh, in line uh, what we do in terms of their their talents and skill sets. Some students come into class and find out maybe this isn't you know my my niche. But um, having said that, it seems to be trending up. The students' uh, it, investment level seems to be higher um, in general than in the past. And um, just the uh, investment level is uh, uh, high. And, and then also just the, the right students, the students who happen to be um, interested and, and predisposed toward success in graphic design those students tend to be finding their way into class, which is a good thing. So one thing that seems to be helping us is we're doing um, projects that are uh, just relevant to them, meaning like I'm not the only one who grades it. It goes out in public and their their parents see it on social media and their friends see it in print around the hallways or uh, things like that. And so uh, one of the avenues for this is we've started partnering with the creative writing class and they will write uh, original short stories and our students will design the cover for it. And then, of course, my eyeballs are not the only ones that see it. And the students um, will uh, design the posters for the upcoming theatrical plays. And, of course, they get printed large and, and showcased in the uh, theater department uh, lobby. And they're put on social media and things like that. Here's another for the creative writing class. Um we recently entered a contest. We're supposed to find out as soon as we get back from the break, but just the the talent level for these uh, students is so impressive to me. Um, they are uh, Auburn kids are just smart, talented kids. Uh, here's one. Uh, if you've never used Photoshop before, you may not know this, but to get a deer sitting up in a human-like position, uh, smoking a pipe and wearing glasses and sipping from a coffee cup that wasn't really there, uh, reading books that weren't really there with a fox doing the same thing. That's not a two-click process. This was a, a labor of love by this student. She goes to well-read um, coffee shop 
the bookstore often, and uh, she sent it to them, and they used it on their social media, which again, you know, that makes it kind of relevant. And um, we found out they're, we heard planning to make it into their next bookmark, which is pretty exciting. And so um, sometimes the students will get requested to do logos. And this is the type of thing that if you know of anything um, that the students might be able to work on that would actually help somebody out, a nonprofit, Auburn University, uh, you know, of course, <clears throat> publication, magazine, um, newspaper, anything like that. That's the kind of things that they just eat up. And so um, just let us know if you know of anything that would be usable by someone that they could do. Um, that's the projects they tend to lean toward. Uh, and they're not mandated to. We certainly don't want to break any copy or sorry, any child labor laws or anything like that. They have options to do uh, other things, but they typically choose to do the ones that they know are going to be seen by other people. And so... Um, we got new green screens, and it's fun. We get uh, athletes to come in and pose, and uh, of course we'll turn those into um, schedules and uh, into like you know game day posters and things like that. These are all just our own green screen posters, but also we've partnered with some local photographers. Uh, John Wild is always so nice to us. Abby Grace Stevens is a new student who. Um, take some pictures also, and they let us use um, just anything we want. And so we're appreciative to them. And, of course, the students will make schedules out of them. And, again, game day posters. There's an endless supply of these things. There's constantly new niche games, you know, pink out night, black out night, blue out night, white out night, um, open like a rivalry game. And, you know, of course, schedules for, uh, goodness gracious, there's so many sports, tennis and golf and soccer and lacrosse and uh, girls flag football, boys basketball, girls basketball, uh, all these different things. And the kids love to collaborate and kind of work together and um, just participate in each other's projects. And um, again, you know, they're high school students, but they're, they're progressing and uh, getting better for sure. And they're just now starting to try to make um, each sport sort of branded as its own entity rather than Auburn High School um, in general. They'll say like, okay, let's make the baseball lean toward powder blue and uh, pinstripes, and let's make the uh, the basketball lean toward more black and less blue, and things like that. And so, there's a concession stand. They're they're trying to do a lot of things that are um, usable by the public again, and uh, even the artists who do not necessarily get into um, get into sports. They'll, they'll draw things and put it into a little database, and then the other students have free access to uh, use it at will to create other things. And so, um, again, social media has been very uh, helpful to us. And so uh, we have our own account and other uh, athletic accounts and plan to get into even more in January um, just to have avenues to showcase their artwork. And when their artwork is showcased, again, just their investment level tends to be a lot higher. Um, Here's an image used by the Bean. Um, the, the good news is the community is starting to see it, and so we get requests from the community um, more so than we used to. Uh, there's a lady, I, I think she's pretty local, but apparently she's the point person for the Winterfest baton twirling competition, and uh, she needed a new logo, and so a, a couple of students collaborated and made this for her, and she needed a T-shirt. She's also the point person for the Alabama State um, baton twirling competition, which is two distinct things, but, but similar. And a student made this for, and, um, some of you know this, but t-shirts and logos are just very different from posters. There's, uh, two different sensibilities and the kids are, you know, starting to get their fingers into both end. And, um, they, they try to pattern a lot after, uh, collegiate graphic design. Um, and you know they're 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 progressing. We we've got a long way to go, but we've come a long way. And so uh, they've started doing a little bit for the Lee County Humane Society flyers and posters and things like that. And um, sometimes we just get requested to do silly things like uh, you know a fiftieth birthday party for a, an assistant principal or something like that. And so um, our guest speakers so far have been Greg Key. He does a lot of what we do. Um, and he does it professionally, and he does it very well, and then he explains it very well. And so he's just an annual um, guest speaker, and uh, we appreciate him for it. And again, it just kind of lines up with what the students are interested in. 
We also had um, a couple of students design this, but we had a t-shirt screen printing um, guest speaker to come in and he showed us how to make like these cool band posters, which I think is about the same way that they would make a t-shirt. Um, these were just a little less expensive. And so um, there's like this cool thick paper. Um, moving forward, a former student from years ago, uh, Hope Nichols, she runs the Scarlet and Gold Instagram account and um, also the Bean Instagram account and does freelance graphic design. And so we hope to get her very soon. And uh, one of my old buddies, uh, Kendall Simmons, we actually graduated together from Auburn University in graphic design. Um, he won two Super Bowls and I am in my 19th year at Auburn High School. So our success level, I'd say, <laughs> pretty pretty much the same thing. Um, and for such a big uh, uh, guy who I'm sure is terrifying to line up against um, on a football field, it's very, very nice in real life and also very talented, just incredibly intricate, detailed illustrations that he does and things like that. So anyway, as far as um, questions, uh, number one, um, if you wouldn't mind just letting us know, if you know of any guest speaker, we always would like to have, you know, more of those. If you don't know of one, please just say like, I, I don't know of one right now. I'll let you know if I do. And again, that'll constitute like back and forth and count as a meeting. Uh, so question one, do you know of any guest speakers? Question number two, um, do you know of any relevant projects for a nonprofit, for Auburn University, for a publication, for social media, for someone, anything like that? The kids love working on things that they know will uh, go outside of our classroom walls. Um, if you don't know, that's fine. Uh, question number three, um, I guess it's not a question. We just want to invite you to come and see us anytime. Of course, you have no obligation, but um, we allow visitors again right now. That was shut down for a while. We'd just love to have you come by and see our space and uh, meet our students. Um, we've been very, very blessed with both talent and resources, and um, you just might be interested to see it. It's a, a cool setup. So, Again, number one, guest speakers. Number two, um, relevant projects, if you have any ideas. Number three, just feel free to swing by anytime. Just let me know in advance, and I'll let the office know. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, thank you again for your time. I certainly appreciate it, and uh, look forward to hearing back from you, and hope that you and your families have a great uh, <coughs> Christmas season. Merry Christmas.